Hello, my beautiful friends. This is Tiff, and today I am sharing with you some absolutely delicious, incredibly easy, and super budget-friendly recipes that even your kids will eat and not complain about. So let's get going. Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome back to my channel, and welcome if you guys are new here. Today I'm bringing you my weekly what's for dinner video. This week is full of super easy, super yummy, super cheap dinners because that's how I roll. <laughs> and life is hectic and crazy busy lately because we have got, you know, all the things. I think I mentioned in my last video with all stars and travel softball and travel basketball and football. And I mean, it never ever ends in our house. So. I have made some easy meals because I was not planning for all this travel stuff to be going on. It just came up uh, spur of the moment. So that's what my plans will be continuing to be is pretty easy meals. I like to bring you guys budget friendly stuff too and usually foods that your kids will actually eat if you've got children. So anyway, let's get rolling with this. Today's video is in collaboration with two of my very good friends here on YouTube. Love these girls, both of them. We've never officially like collab as like all three of us together before. We just had it where it's just I've uh, collabed with Taylor or I've collabed with Tori. So today we are collabing together. So both of these girls love to cook. They both love grocery hauls, both awesome mamas. And we just decided we're good friends that we would do this whole collab together um, with no theme in particular, just what's for dinner because that's what we are always doing is cooking. And I wanna link both of their channels down below. If you guys don't already know them, they're awesome. Taylor does a lot of um, realistic meals and grocery hauls and she's got two children and she's just awesome all around she's a sweetheart and tori is the same she's awesome she has two children also and she is um, very artistic and into the like um i don't want to say vegan she's into like the healthy she makes some beautiful healthy foods so it's really awesome both of them are amazing and i know you guys will both love them because they both have awesome meals so let's go ahead and get started guys also i wanted to mention this with you this is not sponsored at all by this company but um, i do have promo code for liquid iv um, sometimes they give me an additional code i think right now it's still 25 percent in free shipping but the only reason i'm mentioning this is because i'm getting ready to drink this because we are constantly on the go outside and this stuff really does help when um, even with me drinking water when you're sitting in the heat and my son's been drinking this a lot lately so he doesn't like get dehydrated or cramp up and do all that. So he drinks these every day with his, when he has football practice, cause it's hot. So don't forget, it's small town six is the code and I'll link the liquid IV. I'll always link it down in the description box if you wanna get yourself some of this because it's really, really, um, some of them have a little bit of a salt taste to them, but this stuff is like four times as much hydra hydration as like a Gatorade alone. So this stuff really does work. Um, I wouldn't tell you otherwise if it didn't. So. Let's go ahead and get started. And I'll also be sharing a really cool little appliance that was sent to me that I tested out and reviewed. And I'll probably share a whole lot more videos with that content because I was very excited to receive it. But here we go. Okay guys, let's start this off with such an easy recipe that your kids will love and your family will love. You could use these for a party, an appetizer, a dinner, a lunch. You could even freeze these if you don't wanna eat them all in one sitting. Um, but we are just taking a pack of those Hawaiian rolls. I just got mine at Aldi. I'm just slicing them in half, and then I'm gonna top them with some marinara sauce. If you have pizza sauce, you could probably use that too. I just use the marinara. And then I'm just topping all of them. Then I've already pre-cooked the chicken nuggets in the oven according to the package. You can use any type of chicken you want. Then I'm going to top them with some mozzarella oh God, cheese. Now, good and I'm melting the butter for about 20 seconds in the microwave and I'm just gonna top these with the butter until it's nice and coated. And then we are going to put some Italian seasoning on top of this. And if you wanna add garlic, salt, or anything else, feel free. You know, you can always mix it up however your preference are. And then, I'm, and then I just broiled it for a few minutes in the oven. So our next one is similar. It is going to be easy homemade pizza. I am just taking um, two packs for each of these pans. It's just a normal baking sheet. I'm taking two packs of crescent roll um, to use up. 
because I always keep them on hand and I'm just forming them together into one big crust and then I'm going to top that with some Italian seasoning of course some garlic powder because you know we love that I'm throwing some garlic salt on there too you can put whatever toppings you want and then as always I have marinara sauce on hand um, if you have pizza sauce feel free to use that they don't have that at Aldi um, unless it's like a special buy um, so I just use marinara because I like the taste anyway and then we are topping these with mozzarella cheese you can top them with any cheese you'd like any toppings um, I did make one of these with pepperoni and you can bake it in the oven at about 400 for 20 minutes and there are the pizzas so easy and you can add any veggies to them whatever you want to do dip them in ranch parm serve it with some salad easy dinner you guys this recipe was absolutely delicious it's actually made for the crock pot but we were short on time because life gets busy so i'm throwing it all in the instant pot i'm throwing in just two chicken breasts one can of corn one can of rotel I'm going to throw in a can of black beans and you don't have to drain your corn or rotel. I do drain the black beans. Then I'm throwing in one pack of taco seasoning, one pack of ranch seasoning, and I'm just going to cook it for about, I don't trust the normal temperatures, I'm cooking it for about 23 minutes in my instant pot so I know the frozen chicken gets cooked through. And then I'm just going to shred the chicken add it back in to the instant pot. You can do this in a crock pot, like I said, or even on the stove. And then I'm gonna mix that all together. I'm gonna to add in the new Chatel cheese or cream cheese, just one block, and combine it and stir it all creamy together. So here is the white chicken cream cheese chili. Um, I added extra beans to this because the original recipe had a lot less and I thought this needed to be fuller. So this is topped with some tortilla chips and some cheese. You can put guac on it, but um, Ryan thinks chili needs to be served with peanut butter sandwiches, so that's what we're serving. Um, I know I've had this conversation with you guys a million times on here, because I'm team grilled cheese, and he is team peanut butter. There you go. So you guys, this was another favorite in the house that we made. Everybody loves Big Macs, so I am dicing up one onion. You can take one and a half pounds of ground beef, or turkey, or chicken and cook that and then you're also dicing up um, about a fourth a cup of hamburger pickles now separately i'm making the big mac sauce which is one cup of mayo a fourth a cup of french dressing two tablespoons of relish that's sweet one tablespoon of ketchup one teaspoon of white vinegar a fourth a teaspoon of onion powder which i don't measure and an eighth a teaspoon of salt I just eyeball both of those. And that is going to be the sauce that we make to top this with it. So you're just gonna mix all of that together. Um, and then obviously we're gonna go back over to our pan in a minute because you're just browning that meat with the hamburger slices, which is funny because my husband actually off camera diced up the hamburger slices even smaller because he prefers it to be super tiny. And I didn't show that on camera but um, I'd rather have them be chunky. So here we are back to the pan. I'm just adding some salt into it and some pepper and seasoning it up and then adding some Worcestershire sauce in there. I didn't really measure that, I just threw it in. You can put two teaspoons and there you go. Just top it and make it like a little sloppy joe. Super simple. You can serve it with french fries, you can serve it with vegetables, whatever you like, or just serve it as a lunch but it is super delicious. They said it tastes just like a Big Mac. So you guys, I'm so excited to share this with you. I'll insert the clips of me unboxing this, but Paris Roan, and I don't know if I'm saying that right because I'm from Kentucky, um, so it might be Rone. Um, they've been around since 1915. They specialize in all kinds of appliances, kitchenware. I mean, they've got milk frothers. They've got dehydrators. They've got all kinds of stuff, um, and they're top of the line items so i was so 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 ecstatic when they reached out to me and wanted to send me this air fryer because i'll be honest with you i've tested air fryers in the past and they were beautiful but they're little there were six of us in our family i've wanted one of these toaster ovens forever 
Um, but I didn't know which one to get and I didn't, you know, I have so many kitchen appliances. I didn't want to spend big money on it. So when they offered to send me this for my review to test this out, I said, I will give you an honest review. Um, and then I'll make the video because I wanted to see if it legit worked, stood up. Um, if, if I want to stand behind whatever I review, I don't want to show you guys a bunch of crap and it not work. So I love this. I will be using this all the time. I just share like a very basic recipe in today's video, but I love this thing. Like we are going to take this thing camping with us. It's going to replace like our cooking because this thing is phenomenal, but it comes with this huge book of recipes that you can do. Very basic recipes. They all look beautiful. I mean, I'm sure my food's not going to turn out looking like this, but very simple recipes. Then they've got like the user manual, how to operate this. And this was really cool. I thought, what a genius little thing to put in there because I hate having like lots of booklets, papers, things laying around the house because I don't know, I just don't like mess. So um, they have this, it's a magnetic um, cooking time chart. That way you can stick it on the side of your fridge. You don't have to be out in the open, but that way it has all of the cooking times for your air fryer. Then they also give you cooking tips and tricks, how to quick start it, you know, exactly what to do based off of what you're trying to cook. And it comes with this, uh, this one, that's like your, you know, your, if you're making whatever you want to roast on that. This comes with a crisper basket. This is what we put fries and things in. This is cool. You could put fish in it, chicken, whatever. You can do like a little air fry of that. And then it's got like a baking sheet. So you can actually bake cookies, cakes. You can pretty much bake anything in it that you want to. It's easy to clean. It has a, um, well, it's nasty. I need to clean that. I just used it. Um, it has a crumb tray in it and that's dirty. Sorry to show you guys that, but it's got a crumb tray that slides out you can dump the crumbs out, dump the grease if it drips down. That was very genius to get that because I love air fried food. I love my air fryers that I've had in the past, but this thing has come a long way from those basic air fryers. Um, so in a heartbeat, I would say to get one of these, if you're on the fence about whether to get the oven kind or whether to get one of the basket ones, um, even if you're just cooking a little bit for yourself, this thing can make a pizza in it, like a full size, I think a 12 inch pizza in this. It can make all kinds of stuff. This thing's unbelievable because it's huge. So highly recommend it. I'm so glad they reached out to me. There's many more products that I would love to test out from them. So I'm hoping to work with them again, but you guys, I'm going to link all of this down below so you can check it out. Um, and if they send me a discount code, I will link it below. I always do. So I'm going to insert the clips and show you like, what I made with it and show you the unboxing so you can see for yourself how wonderful this air fryer is. I mean, I'm ecstatic about it. This just shows what adulting is. I get excited about kitchen appliances. <laughs> Guys, this thing is incredible. This thing is 26 quart extra large capacity air fryer oven. If it it's a 12 inch pizza, 12 bagels, or six slices of toast, or even a whole chicken. It has four dishwasher safe accessories. It has crisp, crisp control technology that precision controls the temperature, the heat source, and increases the airflow. It has super simple cleaning and maintenance. It's built with a stainless steel housing that is easy to clean after use and accessories are dishwasher safe. And in this, you can cook healthier food, obviously, because you can use 85% less oil. So here we are making avocado fries. I am not following any particular recipe. I'm just adding like a cup of panko, breadcrumbs in one bowl. I'm adding some chili powder in one, some paprika, and I'm adding some, obviously some garlic powder in there. And then in the other bowl, I'm adding some egg whites, or you can do like an egg wash of just two eggs, I guess. And then we are dipping that. Also, there's a fourth a cup of flour in there, sorry. We are dipping the avocados that I've sliced up into the flour mixture, then into the egg wash, and then into the breadcrumbs. And then we are just going to put it in the little air fryer oven for about eight minutes. But um, we also sprayed them on um, the tops to, to coat it with the cooking spray. But this thing is so simple to use. 
and I am honestly using it all the time and these were delicious. They just need some cilantro lime dipping sauce. Okay friends, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you'll give the video a big thumbs up. Um, I just try to keep you guys uh, staying on track with easy, cheap, and yummy stuff. Um, don't forget to check out Tori's channel, Mountain Mama Living, and check out Taylor's channel, Taylor Elmore. Go give them some love. Tell them I sent you. I will link their channels down below. I will also uh, link the Paris Roan air fryer down below, and my liquid IV code is always in there. So I will leave that up. Um, it never goes bad. You can use it as many times as you want. I am actually getting ready to order some for my son also. So I will see you guys next time. Love you all. Bye.